Hey everybody, this is Noor from Noor Coco, and today I'm going to show you how to rock the cherry blossom chiffon and the link up chiffon as well. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to put the edge right at the tip of my um, underpiece. Now with these scarves, you don't really have to wear an underpiece. Um, what's beautiful about our Noorka chiffon uh, line is that it is opaque, meaning it won't see, you won't be able to see through your scarf. So you are able to literally rock um, a white chiffon scarf and your hair will not show. This uh, style is super easy, it's my go-to chiffon style. Um, what I do is I make sure I have one short end, one long end, and I start off by framing my face. Um, I, as you can see, have a very oval, round face. I have big cheeks. Um, so if you're somebody with a face like mine, um, and you want your cheekbones to be pronounced, you want to give yourself a jawline, then I recommend uh, following the steps that I'm showing you. So what I like to do is I like to fold it right here, where my cheekbones are, and then I bring this fabric that after I folded, um, instead of just bringing it straight down, um, or close to my face, I bring it further back. What that does is it creates this like jawline type of look. Um, here you could pin, I don't like to. Um, so what I do here is, um, before flipping it around, I grab some folds, and I'll show you why. And then I bring it all the way around. Now the reason I said grab folds is because what you're able to do now is, um, Play around and manipulate the folds to give that extra volume. And then what I do is I pin it right here. You could pin it up there, you could pin it under your chin, um, but I like to pin it right here where that I created that initial fold and I let it sit like that. And then I just adjust what I need to, um, pull the fabric up more to create that volume. And you can tuck and stow this one away if you like, and then um, bring this longer piece around here. So you have uh, a lot of fabric to work with with the Norca chiffon scarves. So what you can do is you can take this extra piece and fold it around um, and then just let it sit on your shoulder. Make sure you pin it if you want to, to secure it in place. And you have this fabric um, for extra coverage or if you just want to show the drapes, that works too. So this style, very sophisticated, it's professional looking. So the first thing I do is I make sure that I have one short, not too short though. You wanna have it approximately at your chest or a little bit lower, and then one longer end. I frame around my face again, and I bring it all the way to the back. And then what I do is I bring it another time around. And now you're left with these two pieces of fabric. So what you wanna do is you wanna take one corner, and another corner, and you want to create a knot. That's one, and then another knot. You could take this piece and take, toss it to the back, or you could just tuck it in, and then you could do the same for this. And there you have it. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will be back next Wednesday with another tutorial. Make sure to check out the Cherry Blossom Chiffon Scarf, which is up on the website for $25, and the Link Up Chiffon, which is for the same price. You can also get these babies in a bundle um, for cheaper. Uh, the bundle is $50, but you get two other scarves, a jersey and a chiffon alongside these ones. So make sure you check out those bundles as well. They're under the bundles tab on norca.com. Click the link in my bio. I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.